Chinese manufacturer Yihang has stunned the world at CES by showing off this autonomous manned octocopter that it says it's actually going to start selling later in 2016 for two to three hundred grand. The single-seater Yihang 184 has a lightweight carbon-slash-epoxy body, a 14.4 kilowatt-hour battery, and eight propellers mounted coaxially on forearms that fold up for storage. The 184 can carry up to 120 kilograms for up to 23 minutes, with a max speed around 62 miles an hour. You don't need a pilot's license to fly it, you just pre-program the route and the 184 automatically communicates with air traffic control and other aircraft to plot a safe and efficient course. It's already fully functional and Ehung plans to run demo flights in the coming months. So we have been you know, waiting for this moment for three years. Actually, even back in 2005, one of the key engineering members um, you know, of this e 184 has designed the very first uh, you know, dual axle helicopter in China. Um, you know, and uh, we have been working on this for three years. And this is it. You know, this is where we are. So e 184 is the very, I would say, it's a medium short you know, distance transportation solution. Um, it's, um, and, uh, you know, it's, um, we call this AAV which stands for uh, Autonomous Aero Vehicle. Uh, the different thing between this one and other um, planes, helicopters, or flying cars is that this is pure autonomous. So we don't need any, you know, we don't need a pilot. It's more like a passenger, you know, instead of like, using a pilot, you know, who, who need to get a license to fly. You know, we hope this one will only be the one passenger sitting there. And the 184 is gonna, you know, it's gonna be connecting to the internet 24 hours, and also, you know, talk back to our command center, which is on the ground, you know, which is in the ground, making sure this is safe because uh, people can't really do much, inter you know, like invention with the uh, with the vehicle. So this is how we make it safe. Also, the design structure itself, like a multi-rotor, you know, it's a multi-rotor structure, also make it safer uh, compared to a helicopter, which only have the one propeller. So even one or two, three propellers, you know, is down. Uh, it still flies. It still flies safe, hover there, and find the nearest landing point to land. This is actually coming. So if you look at the video, so those are the prototype we made previously. So we we did have an ugly prototype, you know, like a, uh, with six wing, <laughs> like a six propellers. Um, then we you know we work on that and improve all the time, and making sure, <coughs> sorry, and making sure that it's safe. After that, you know, like we, this is a commercial, you know, this is actually the commercialized product, which means we even have air conditioner inside. And we have a really comfortable seat over there. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, when will uh, we be seeing these things flying around? So we're expecting to see these things flying around in 2016. Actually, we are planning on the world tour, you know, in states, in China, in Europe, in New Zealand. You know, to show people how you know how real it is. You know, like we're just like working on the all those process. Yeah. For us, we're not a huge company. Um, you know, we're we're. I mean, we're not that young, but you know, we're still like a young company. And CES is definitely the place that you know gathers from. I mean, everyone from all over the world. You know, we think and we we are here last year. We think it, you know the, it, it was pretty good. So last year we we released the very first smart the smartphone controlled consumer drone, the Ghost. So this year, we're releasing something bigger.